Hello, I'm Charling and welcome back. I see a lot of people are asking how to change the FOV in Dead Island Definitive Edition and Dead Island Riptide Definitive Edition, since unfortunately the option doesn't exist in the game itself. So you're going to have to tweak some XML files in order to make those changes. But the good news is that the process is relatively simple. So the first thing you're going to have to do is download 7-Zip if you don't already have 7-Zip installed, you can just head over to 7-Zip.org and download the program and then make sure that the program is installed on your PC. Now, once you have it installed, head over to the install location of either of the two games. So for Dead Island Definitive Edition, for example, you can just click on the game. We can click on properties, click on local files and browse to local files. If you prefer to go via Windows Explorer, you can basically head into your Steam folder, head into Steam Apps common and then find D-I-D-E which is Dead Island Definitive Edition and D-I-R-D-E for Dead Island Riptide Definitive Edition. Once you are in the folder you want to head into the D-I folder here for, which will be D-I-R for Dead Island Riptide and you want to look for the data0.pak file and this is going to be the same for both games. Once you found the file here you're going to right click on it, you're going to head over to 7-zip and you're going to click on open archive. Once the archive page is open, you're going to see there's a folder called data. And again, all the rest of these steps is going to be identical for both games. You are going to click on data. You're going to scroll down all the way till you find the skills folder here. You can open that. And then you're going to see a bunch of different XML files. You are going to find the XML file that's called default underscore levels dot XML. You're going to right click on that and select edit or press F4 which is going to open a window with a whole bunch of different values. The easiest way you can open this, it is here by camera default FOV. You can also just uh, press Control F4 and type in camera default FOV over here if you so desire, which will take you down to the correct location. And then all you need to do is where you have V equals and then this should be 62.5. You can change it to whatever FOV makes you comfortable. I usually set mine to 90. Once that is done, you can just close this file and click save. Uh, once you've saved it, you're going to see that it says file default levels.xml was modified. Do you want to update it in its archive? And you're going to select OK. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to change the FOV. Once you load up the game, you'll see that the FOV will have been improved. So yeah, now you can enjoy uh, Dead Island in a suitable FOV for 2016. I do hope that this uh, video was a little bit helpful to some of you, but that's pretty much everything I have to say in this video. I've been Charling, until next time.